Welcome to room 2002 at Rio Las Vegas. This is a penthouse, two stories. And welcome, let me try not to slam the door, but we'll probably slam anyway. Yep, there it went. Welcome. This room is, I feel like I'm in a movie. I've never been, I've been in a room with a staircase, although it's never been my room. But before we get into all of this, and sorry about the view, it's nighttime right now. I literally just got into my room. I think it's like 2.30 in the morning. But we're gonna try to cover this as well as we can. I'll cut in some shots, some clean shots of night and day. First guest bathroom is to our left. Sink, toilet, very basic. Back up and I'm going to go over to the business room, dining room. I'm not sure what we really want to call it, but that's what it is. Before we do, take a sharp left. Hello everyone, sorry about my raggedy clothes. It's been a long day. <laughs> um, anyways, wet bar, there is a refrigerator on the bottom right door with nothing in it. Uh, I think there's supposed to be a mini bar too, but it looks like it's just missing. And that's kind of the theme of this room. Uh, as cool as it is, Things are just missing, a little run down, but I still like this room. It's still really cool. This area goes out to the hallway again. It's like a second entrance to your room. And I know, it's like a room you can come in and kind of just throw stuff in. So if you don't want to wear your shoes in the room or something, I guess you would kind of drop stuff off there. But that's that. There's also a giant mirror there. And that looks like it turns, but they have it blocked. They added a piece of wood so you can't turn it because there's a TV on the other side. So um, it would be cool if they made it so you could, because they could watch TV in here or TV in the living room, but they don't do that. There's that awesome staircase, but we're gonna turn to the right and back up a bit so we can check out the entrance. So there is two doors, as you saw when we came in. Um, there's a closet over here. A coat closet, I guess. This is just an interesting room. I, I don't know what to really make of this whole room. Coat closet here. There's some arts and things in this cabinet. Um, yeah, and this blue turquoise-ish thing at the bottom, you'll see that again upstairs. And also, sorry, I didn't mean to scroll back up, but this metal plate thing will be on this left side also. And I'm not sure why, but they're there. And there's also a bottle of Class A Azul in there. And I'm not sure why that's in there either. Uh, it also is not, it's not locked. Let me see if I can get this open again. As you can see, it's not locked, but I tested this bottle obviously and it's not full. So, um, you know, I was a little sad about that. But, and then there's this room here, which is the size of the closet on the other side but there's a phone in it. This is literally a phone booth. So Clark Kent turns into Superman in that room. I'm gonna keep turning. We can check out the pool table. Uh, I haven't taken the cover off yet, so I don't know what condition the felt is in. Uh, hopefully it's good, but I don't plan on playing this trip anyway. There's a ton of art on the wall over here in a sitting area. Let's scroll up just a little more. I am recording a quick voiceover for the clip I'm about to cut in. So here is a night shot with the lights off in the room so there aren't any reflections. Gold Coast is on the right. Palms is coming up on the left, which means the strip is behind me. And then I also just threw in a day shot so you can see the mountains and things in the distance. A little bit of the desert and residential area too. Again, Palms is on the left. And once we get back to the room video, the pull cues will be right in front. And it's going to go back to the normal audio. Here is our TV entertainment area. So this downstairs room and the upstairs room, which you can kind of see there, does have 5.1 channel surround sound. You can see the speakers built into the pillars. There is, I'll move closer now. There is a center channel. Try to walk sideways. Never done this before. There's a center channel, a receiver here, and a subwoofer hangs out in here. Unfortunately, there's no Bluetooth on that receiver. As you can see though, they do give you an aux cable. So if you 
do have your like lightning to three and a half millimeter plug or um, just a, a phone or a device with a three and a half millimeter, then you're probably good. The thing about this setup though, is that the TV, oh, I don't know, the TV just went off. The TV is not hooked up to the receiver and there's supposed to be like a DVD player or a Blu-ray player, but it's just not here. There is one upstairs though, but that's also not hooked up and I'll show that too. Anyways, enough of the silliness, let's go upstairs. Also this cabinet that's hanging out over here by the pool table, uh, that's where all the pool stuff is at. So there's the balls in there and chalk and things like that. Try to hold the camera steady as I walk up the stairs so it's not jittery. But this is still really cool. I've probably walked up and down these stairs 10 times already and this is still really, really cool. And I don't know what this area is I'm gonna back up into. Oops, I almost fell. <laughs> um, sorry about that. Uh, but just to give you a view of the seating area and there's that blue bowl, turquoise bowl again, right there. And then I'm gonna walk straight over here and just to give a view looking down from the balcony, if you want to call it that, into the room. So this room is on the 20th floor, which is the top floor of the hotel, but I think this second story counts as the 21st floor, if you want to call it that. And into the bedroom we go. There's only one king bed in this room. I do like this layout though, it is pretty cool. I think there is supposed to be lighting around the top there because there's a dimmer switch on the left side of the bed but i couldn't get it to work so it's either broken or i'm doing something wrong but as you can see there's two speakers in the ceiling there i'm going to flip around very quickly well not that fast but kind of fast and you can see there's two speakers in the wall so those are your front speakers your rears are above you your surrounds and um <laughs> the center is in here and unhooked and the sub is in here and unhooked and there's no receiver. So good luck getting this to work. Anyways, skipping that. Oh, I forgot to turn those lights on by the way. Oh, I just noticed that. Let's go in the bathroom. So I'm, you can go left or right into the bathroom. I'm gonna go left. Another like wet bar area, another mirror. Hello, me again. Shower. It's the first thing we'll check out. It is a, basically a two-person shower. It's definitely big enough for that. There is a seat, if you want to call it that, in the back. Dual shower heads, though. And it's pretty cool. There's one sink here and a mirror. And this mirror has a TV built into it, although I could not find the remote for it. So I don't know if it works or not. And... Um, I'll back up a bit, and this is kind of awkward to show, but there's a Bose speaker in the ceiling there, and I don't know why there's one Bose speaker there. Maybe that's supposed to be the sound for the TV. I don't know, but there it is. There is a toilet on this side. I'm gonna flip around one more time before we go that way. Sorry, I don't like giving big turns, but you know, I didn't plan that very well. There's a closet here. Basic closet, there is a safe, a built-in safe here. And uh, yeah, a little spot for your luggage. So now we'll check out the second sink. And this one, like I said, also has a TV built-in. I checked all these drawers, I've looked all over the room. I cannot find a remote. So this one has two mirrors, a little like powder area. I'm gonna turn again to the right because there's a lot of odd rooms here. Another closet, this one does not have a safe built in, it's just chilling there, but same as the first closet on the left side. And here is another toilet with a bidet and some artwork to look at. And of course, you kind of already saw this as I've been moving around, jacuzzi tub. Pretty, pretty big too. That can definitely fit two people and it looks like it's made for two people because there's a little half circle here and a half circle on the other side. All the blinds obviously are also automatic. I mean, you could press the like blind, you know, open shade thing and that's that. That is this room. Pretty cool. 
I mean, I knew what it looked like from photos, but even when I walked in, it was still like, wow, this, this is it, right? This is, this is pretty cool. Aside from the tech not really being operational in the room, um, it's really nice. It's really nice. So this is it. Room 2002, real Las Vegas penthouse, two story. I don't even know where to put the camera right now, but this is great. And thank you for watching.